Hello everyone, it's Scott Omato, and in this video I want to detail probably the best form of early game RF production, RF energy production, or forge energy for that matter, in these modern packs. I'll be dealing with 1.12.2, but probably since 1.9 or above, uh, this has been the best form of power generation for early game, and that is the wind generator from Mechanism. So let's take a look at it in detail. Okay, so the wind generator here, it's pretty darn inexpensive for what you get. Uh, here is the recipe. You're going to need some osmium, which is easy to come by if you have Mechanism in your world. Then you're going to need five of these enriched alloys. So you will have needed to make a metallurgic infuser, uh, but it just requires some redstone and some iron, and you, you need five of those in total uh, because each one of these energy tablets requires two. So you'll need some gold and some redstone for those. So six gold and eight redstone for the combination of that. So you'll have to have gone down to diamond level. Um, and then... The uh, basic control circuit just requires some redstone and some osmium. So with a bit of osmium, a bit of gold, and a bit of redstone, uh, you can essentially get your wind generator. All right. Now at its basic level here, at sea level, it produces around 56 RF a tick at sea level. All right. At Y64, you'll get around 56 RF a tick. Now, the maximum at the build limit, which I've built all the way up to there, the build limit is 192 RF a tick. Now, I do want to mention that in the interface, it first defaults to showing Minecraft Jewels, uh, which was the uh, energy unit that Mechanism used based on Buildcraft stuff, and it's producing 60 Jewels here. At, I'm at Y4 in a flat world. Uh, but 24 RF a tick is the minimum. So you'll want to switch this button to RF if you want to view in that, which is the more common way these days to, to get an idea. Uh, so that's the minimum that you're going to get. And you'll notice that here at Y20, I'm still getting that minimum. I just switched away. There we go, 24 RF a tick. So no change there. But up beyond this, you start getting a change based on the elevation of how high that it is. So here we're getting 35.63. So a difference of 11.63. Now the actual math works out if you're interested in that. Can help you determine what your power needs could be, how high to go, is that it's 0.7 basically, but this is the number RF per block. Okay, so 0.7 because 1 MJ, according to the configs of mechanism, equals 2.5 RF. So if you want to figure it out, you could just go from there from what your basic level is, multiply that by times how many blocks that you want to go up to reach your power goal, and you'll be able to do that. Now, of course, you're going to want to add more than one when you can afford it and if you can afford it and an ideal setup i think um, is six of them you can go for six of them and get your basic universal cables to connect them the basic universal cables are also very cheap uh, you get eight of them per crafting recipe you just need two steel ingots which is not bad at all to produce in mechanism uh, basically you just need to uh, infuse them and then you could produce this requires five cables one two three four five cables then i prefer to use the simple power cell from rf tools and that guy does require a couple diamonds and some nether quartz so you'll have to go to the nether blocks of redstone and a machine frame to make the machine frame iron ingots, some lapis, and just some gold nuggets. So a little bit on more on the expensive side, but what it does is allow you not to have to run a whole bunch of cables because you use these power cell cards, 
which are just redstone, gold nuggets, and paper to connect them wirelessly together. All right, so you really ideally want to go to the build limit to as high up as you possibly can. And I'm going to show you some easy ways of doing that. This is at Y64 here. So we're producing that 55.99 RF a tick. Then we go on up to 128. Each one of these is 16 blocks apart. Just so you can get an idea of the different power settings. So that's 102.5, double what the others are. And then, you know, so you're just getting an increasing amount of RF the higher that you go up. Now, I have tested in various biomes, and it makes no difference. I'm in a plains here. It makes no difference except for the fact that you might already start at a higher Y elevation. Okay, but ideally, what you want to do is get up to the build limit. Uh, you'll have to go at 250, essentially, is what you want to shoot for. You get at 250. 251 is actually the max for you to allow to build to 255 and have enough room for these guys. And then you could place your six here. All right. And the reason you're doing six is if you're using the RF tools uh, power cell, then you can get 1250 RF a tick. You could see it in the tool tip at the top input output 1250 per tick. So with each one of these, I believe it was 1164 that you get 192 per each one. See that here? Keep hitting the button. 192 RF a tick is the maximum that you're going to get out of each one of these. And so uh, once you've set this up, which you just simply connect it to the end of the cable there and put in a power cell card there, and then you can put in a group of them to link them together. Now, see, this is link ID 1, and that's link ID 1. So all of these cards now are linked to this power cell wirelessly. All right, and one thing you can do, and I recommend that you do once you get to this level, is get an elevator from that's based on the Open Blocks mod, uh, but this is the elevator mod, and I didn't, wasn't aware that it went all the way to build limit with one, but it will. Look at that. I can just go all the way up to the sky and down after I've made one. Now, notice these things do make a noise. Uh, I have the audio turned down for them. It's the blocks, and you won't want all your blocks. These things make quite a bit of noise, and you can put a... Uh, I believe a muffler upgrade. No, I guess not. All right, on these guys, they don't take any upgrades. So you're just going to have to put it ab above your hearing limit or, or deal with it or whatever. But obviously, if it's way up here, you don't have to worry about it. So let's talk about a couple of ways to get to the build limit. All right, uh, quick ways to get to the build limit. The first and easiest way is to use a magic bean from... Um, random things if you happen to have the random things mod and you find one of their uh, structures that they put into the world the nature core it's a a jungle block basically it's a block surrounded by jungle wood and it grows uh, leaves and stuff and there's a chest you can get the magic bean from that guy now if you plant it then bam it'll go all the way to build limit immediately. So it, it's a ladder. Got to be careful on this guy. In fact, I do recommend that you surround this with water blocks just to be safe. But it's also a high-speed ladder that you can travel to. You'll get up there quick. And then there's a loot chest up here that has a lot of good stuff in it. Um, but you can place a block below yourself. You just have to kind of select off to the side and then you can drop onto that block. So now we could loot this chest and start our build from there. Actually, you need to break it.
but that was in creative, so whatever. Don't break this or your ladder will fall. So you can use this to build from. And what I've done over here is built a 7x7 seven seven platform. That seems to be just about the right size as 7x7 seven seven, where your power cell can fit, your elevator can fit, and all of that. Um, so once you've built your platform, you can use this as a ladder. But just be very careful. And if you've got... Oops, don't do what I just did there. But... If you have water underneath it, then you don't have to worry about it. All right, so that's one quick way to get to build limit. And then another good way is using this scaffolding from the cyclic mod. Okay, so there's this responsive scaffolding, and it's very, very cheap. It only requires dirt, a piece of dirt, and a stick for 64 of them. So you could make four stacks of those with four dirt and four sticks and these are fragile scaffolding so you need to do two blocks and then from underneath it when you hold your shift key you can build up see so you could build all the way up to the sky that way and just keep going through the stack and then it's a ladder it works as a ladder There you go. So you would do that all the way up to build limit. And that's what I have here. Now, one thing to be aware of with this guy, it's you break one, it breaks them all. And that's nice um, if you, in fact, wanted to break all of these after you've made it or keep them in place once you have your elevators. So that's a quick way to get to the build limit. Uh, to place your platform so you can get the maximum amount, a maximum amount of power. And then you would just have your RF tools power cell here at the bottom and put one of the link cards inside of it here. And it would link it to that top unit. So now it's drawing power wirelessly from the top of the world there. And then you could use energy cubes from mechanism or whatever other kind of capacitor storage that you wanted to use. These guys don't hold that much. Uh, they hold 250,000 RF. Uh, the energy cubes hold at the basic one holds 800,000. So you may want to go that route, but you can decide how to distribute your power from that point. But this gives you a really strong amount of power and let me get the exact number here. So yeah, with six of them, it's 1152 RF a tick. And not very costly at all. Completely passive. You don't have to add any power or do any other thing. Uh, they'll just keep generating power for you. So anyway, that is a great way for early game RF production. And I hope it's helpful to you. That's a big question that we always try to address in building our worlds is, all right, how are we going to get power going? And this is a great way to do it. So I hope that helped. Uh, this is Scott Omato. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Um, if you dislike the video, let me know why so I can improve. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.